CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. A crucial vote on sewage treatment is now less than 24 hours away. The CRD and Esquimalt Council must come to an agreement on terms to rezone McLaughlin Point. If they do not or cannot, millions of dollars will start going down the drain. In order to meet the target date for completion, the project has to break ground this spring. And starting tomorrow, time really is money. CTV's Aaron Glazier reports. On the eve of yet another sewage negotiation, the mood is a touch pessimistic. There are some concerns. If a deal isn't reached tomorrow on rezoning terms for McLaughlin Point, the sewage treatment plan portion of the project what the could be in for massive cost asked. overruns. A staff report suggests up to $900,000 a month in operating fees and construction material inflation and further delays for the company's bidding on the design contract. But we don't want to get, you know, to gamble on that. We need certainty because people can't be, you know, spending millions of dollars to put a proposal together and then have it turned down. So the township and the CRD are still at odds over how far back the project will be built from the waterfront and the issue of barging materials to the site at a cost of $2.3 million. Ultimately, Esquimalt holds the key. It must change a bylaw to allow for construction. And so far, council is not happy with a lack of consultation up until this point. The way that it's been presented uh, it seems uh, a little adversarial uh, in that you, the question hasn't been asked of Esquimalt around the height and the setbacks, and so uh, it seems to me it's a bit premature. As politicians bicker over how to get the $783 million project up and running, opponents are still calling for a complete halt to the plan. It's not an issue of treat or no treat. The issue is how much environmental impact do we want our system to cause? Ours is currently causing a very small environmental impact. Backed by numerous UVic professors of marine science. It says the CRD should ask for treatment exemption from the federal government and instead spend the money on habitat conservation and treating storm drain runoff rather than raw sewage. There's, there's higher contamination levels from chemicals from, from the roads, so rain washing materials off the roads into the, along the beaches, along the shores. We were ordered to treat by the province and the regulations coming down from the federal government mean we have to meet those regulations by 2020. So it's not me they have to convince, it's those other two levels of government. Tomorrow it will be up to local politicians to get get a deal done. And if they don't, it's likely off to arbitration with the province with a multi-million dollar cost. Aaron Glacier joins us now live with more. Aaron, uh, so, so what happens if there is no deal tomorrow? Hudson Environment Minister Mary Pollock has the power to intervene, but said again today she has no plans to do so, saying the CRD and Esquimalt need to resolve the issue. Compliance regulations require us to have sewage treatment in place by 2020. If the project is delayed, local governments will have to answer to the federal government. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. All right, we'll be there. Aaron Glazier reporting. Aaron, thanks.